Alex Flora here doing the test wrapper for test two. Uh, as you can see, this is the solutions guide, and this is because I don't actually have my test with me. So for the problem, it says a straight wire 15 meters long oriented along the y-axis lies below the compass as shown. The wire is much longer than is shown here, and the diagram is not drawn to scale. The compass is centered on the origin and is 4 meters or millimeters above the wire. When a conventional current of I amperes flows through the wire, the compass deflects 8 degrees to the west. On the diagram below, uh, draw the direction, or on the diagram, draw the direction of the conventional current I in the wire. So knowing that the uh, compass is above the wire um, and using the right-hand rule, we can actually find that the current is flowing down through the wire. Um, if the compass was actually lying above the wire, then the current would be flowing the opposite direction and would be flowing upwards. For part B, it says determine the, magnitude, determine the magnitude of the conventional current I flowing through the wire and be sure to show all your work. So pretty much this is a straightforward problem uh, using a lot of the formula sheet for B wire, for B tangent, um, and also knowing that B net is equal to B wire plus B earth. So first you find tangent, um, or you find theta, and you do that by taking tangent of theta is equal to the mag or the absolute value of B wire over B earth. Um, and this will give you the angle. Um, then you know, again, just a straight formula off the of the formula sheet that what By equal equals since R is much greater than L. Um, again, just plug and chug, as you can see going through, and you get a current of 0 0.0562 amperes. That was part B. The next part, part C, we're going to skip over to um, the right side of the page. It says, with the current running in the straight wire, uh, a current carrying loop is placed near the compass, and the compass now deflects 16 degrees to the west. Which of the diagrams below indicates where the loop was placed? Uh, the direction indicates in the diagram below refer to the current, so we have to circle which one. So when I first looked at this, I was automatically able to um, take uh, problems or diagrams A and B out of the um, out of the the choices due to the or uh, how the loops are oriented. They wouldn't really have an effect on it. And the next part was just leaving you C and D, and you had to figure out which one would amplify the, or which one would deflect the compass 16 degrees. Uh, based on the flow of the current and knowing how the current flows back in C, you are able to pick C as your answer and the conventional current flows clockwise uh, viewed from ring to ring. Uh, the clockwise, sorry, the co conventional current flows clockwise viewed from right ring, from right of the ring. This was the test wrapper for problem four.